What's up, metal and heavy music fans? Today we are reviewing the new Rammstein song, Zeit. So right off the bat, this track is absolutely stunning, especially when paired with the music video, which they continue to just inspire awe in me every time I watch. I'm like shaking, <laughs> just wanting to talk about this. I am going to be a little bit more sparing with clips on this one because their label tends to be a little bit more litigious when it comes to claiming things. But that said, I just want to get into it because there's a lot to dig into here. I mean, first off... Beautiful intro with just Till singing and the piano, kind of Ona Dish vibes on this one. Nach uns wird es vorhergeben, aus der Jugend wird schon Not. The guitar eventually kicks in as we start watching the horrors of war play out in reverse with soldiers out in the field shooting at one another, but instead of you know getting shot down, they're they're being risen back up as the bullets fly backwards pretty uh pretty visually impressive to look at it, it looks like movie quality just like on the last album with like deutschland it, again <laughs> i'm just so impressed with the music videos from rammstein and definitely a timely topic of course uh, then we get the more strange imagery that we've gotten used to coming from <laughs> this band we've got like a trio of black hooded figures that if it weren't for their glowing kind of transforming faces that seem like they might be an allusion to biblical depictions of angels kind of remind me of the crew from imperial triumphant which <laughs> nice shout out to an amazing avant-garde jazz infused black metal band that you should check out if you have not and then right as the full atmosphere kicks in with all the instrumentation we see this sand just falling in this like pillar in reverse and maybe like the sands of time is what I'm I'm clearly getting in terms of what the metaphor is. And it's falling onto these blindfolded women who are very graphically, I might add, giving birth. Like, this is not a safe-for-work music video. Wouldn't be the first time, probably won't be the last time. And the people delivering them are also wearing blindfolds, and I believe they're the band members. At this point, we settle into a very melancholic melody, and it's just kind of like kind of humming along. It's very hypnotic and you're just entranced by the visuals. And again, we see the band members in their blindfolds being kind of buried by this sand. Again, filmed backwards then. And then we're back to the eerie calm of the piano and Till's voice over these farmers in a wheat field and the son kind of like walks away from his father and is approaching one more of these, again, maybe like Angels of Death is clearly the vibe here. Ultimately, like going up to him and disappearing into his robe as the father collapses in despair. And then at the same time, we're cutting between seeing this robe figure kind of like guide the son through this waterfall of sand and then also his lifeless body being cradled in his father's arms. There's also a statue that looks like it's of like the Grim Reaper collapsing in reverse back into its original form and ultimately we're left with this lingering shot once more of just this falling pillar of sand and so it goes by pretty quick. It's not a particularly long song but there's just so much involved in it in its kind of like simplicity. Zeit is appropriately the German word for time, which I picked up on early on because I actually did take German in college. Rammstein was actually <laughs> partially an influence on me doing that because I just, I love the language and the sound of it. And even before I looked at the English translations for the lyrics, which I did, it seems like such an amazing example of how visual storytelling can just transcend language. Like, I love film in particular, that conveys ideas often without any words at all. Like to me, that's just masterful and it's just much more entrancing. That's why I'm loving like Robert Eggers films lately. I'm so excited for The Northman, but I absolutely enjoyed The Witch and I loved The Lighthouse. Like I could watch that movie over and over again. And there's long sections of that movie where there's no dialogue and it's just visuals on screen and you just kind of take from it what you will. It's something I also appreciate a lot about David Lynch and 
another reason why I'm so excited to to talk more so even so like about the video <laughs> than maybe the music itself. Anyways, it's very clear to me that this song is about how death comes for us all in the end and you just can't outrun the clock, right? Some die in their sleep of old age and others unfairly early to violence or mishap. And we spend a lot of our time just trying not to think about it. Because if you did just have that on your mind all the time, you'd just have like an existential breakdown constantly. Uh, I'm not going to read all the lyrics here, but I want to read one passage in particular in, again, kind of a rough English translation. After us, there will be before youth turns into hardship. We keep dying until we live, die alive to death. We are drifting toward the end. No rest, only strive forward. Infinity beckons on the shore, caught in the river. Beautiful lyricism, true to Rammstein's strengths too. It just makes something so utterly grim and sad, strangely beautiful. And they just, again, continue to amaze me at how well they're able to convey all of this so cinematically. Now, as a song, I do tend to prefer the more overtly industrial, kind of headbanging sounding stuff, which this is definitely not. Like, there is no trace of the industrial elements on this song whatsoever. It's definitely more on par with their ballads that they've had over the years, but especially when paired with the video, it's just absolutely stunning, captivating, Amazing work. But again, if I am just scoring the song, which is what I generally do here with my three scales, I'd give it like a nine for enjoyability. It's it's very, like, it hits deep. Like, the feeling factor in this accounts for a lot. It's not something you're going to, like, jam to, but it's it has this deep impact. And even, again, if you don't know what is being said, because it is all in German, it's conveying a feeling so effectively. And like I said, before I even looked up the lyrics, I could tell what the song was about. And even without like the concept, it's clear like there's just this melancholy that's just oozing through every orifice of this thing. I give it more of like an eight for musicianship since it's pretty purposefully minimalist. Like they're not really trying to blow anybody away with the instrumentation here. It's more something you'd expect to hear in like a opera or musical or something along those lines. And and that's fine too. And then it's like a seven for innovation. Definitely not something I haven't heard before from the band or just in general, but it, it doesn't really matter. Like it definitely does get me excited for the album. I enjoyed the previous record. I think the first half was a bit stronger. It was a bit top heavy and the, the later songs, not as much, but I'm always down for new Rammstein. I've been with them almost since the beginning and just love their records. I think sometimes they get overlooked as like this dumb beefcake, like blowing fire on stage and like dark sense of humor <laughs> kind of band. But there's just so much beauty that they've woven into songs in the past. Like Clavier is one of my all time favorite tracks from them. And I'd say this is this is definitely closer to that. So overall, I'd say I'm looking at kind of like a B on the song. But once more, you put the video on top of that and then it's like an A, like at least an A, if not an A+. Wonderful stuff. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this new song? Are you excited for the album? Check out this playlist for more thoughts on 2022 songs and albums that have come out. And expect some more exciting content real soon, but that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.